well hello good people welcome back to the channel today you guys are going to watch me create a proposal it's going to be a six-year-old's birthday party and his theme is captain america i have the event information in the top right hand corner and then you're going to see i'm going to start sliding in images from the client's home that she sent me and i'm going to put that in the right box um that's in each category in terms of the balloon decoration that I'm proposing and in the left image I am going to slide in my recommended balloon decoration so that the client can clearly see where I'm recommending that it be placed and then also the decoration that I am recommending be placed there you're going to see that I am going to actually look around for inspiration for balloon decorations i'm going to go to my website luxyballoons.com i'm going to go to instagram um you might see me go to pinterest and google i do that oftentimes looking for inspirations for different events so i am actually going to let you guys watch me work from here but this is actually a full 30 probably 37 minute process so i want you guys to truly see all that i do to create a proposal for a large event the platform that i'm using to create my proposals is canva.com i created this custom template for my proposals and i'm actually going to be sharing this proposal um, template with everybody that's going to be attending balloon bonanza so you guys will get that for free but definitely check out canva.com guys it's a great resource for marketing purposes and um, as well as creating custom proposals since you guys take so much time to show me love in the comments i want to make sure that i shout you guys out thank you so much jesslyn colin sandra salazar andrea horseman carmen creations deco um kevin campbell takara phillips Thank you guys so much for the sweet compliments. Thank you guys so much for the questions. And I truly hope to meet you guys at Balloon Bonanza. you know i appreciate you right please subscribe to the channel please like please comment please turn on that notification bell thank you guys as always now let's get back to this video
So while I'm working, I'm actually going to tell you guys a story about this client that I've had. And I'm actually working on a third event for her. It's not the same client whose proposal we're working on now, but it's a fun story. So let's get to it. So about a couple of years ago, I got a request from a personal assistant and he was like, hey, Brittany, my client wants a huge Alice in Wonderland party. And I was like, OK, what's their budget? And he was like, honestly, she doesn't have a budget. And I was like, so you mean my creative vision can just flourish? And he was like, yes. So I put together this proposal. <laughs> And I got a little bit beside myself because, you know, I'm the balloon girl. But I was like, hey, how about we do a storybook backdrop in which the guests would be able to walk through to get to the party? And they were like, oh, yeah, we want that. So <laughs> I proposed an eight foot tall storybook backdrop that had a door and it was going to be Alice in Wonderland theme. So I did my research and I was able to pull off this classic old fashioned looked walk through Alice in Wonderland storybook backdrop. So the cover was actually this pink velvet that I had got from the fabric store. I had got these large pages and then I used tea bags to actually wilt the edges of the pages for the book to make it appear as though like it had been sitting around for a long time. I put multiple pages in there and then I put um, text inside of the book. So on the pages, I use vinyl lettering to actually take a quote from the actual Alice in Wonderland book. And then on the right side, I had like a couple of trees drawn on the page and then this opening that the guests could walk through. I can't believe I pulled that off. That was all a god, but okay, so we had this storybook backdrop. You walk through the storybook backdrop and we had an arch, like this really nice size arch at the tent where the kids would do their activities, coloring and all types of arts and craft activities. And that was just on a part of the estate. Then sprinkled around the whole estate were about probably 12 columns just to tie in the decor. Mind you, the client not only had balloon decor, but she had like these fun rabbits that stood like six feet tall. I guess that rabbit's in Alice in Wonderland. And she also had like just like really cute cutouts of Alice in Wonderland decorations. So then you get to the pool area and the client had upside down umbrellas. And inside of the umbrellas was floral, fresh floral. And these umbrellas floated around her pool. Gorgeous. So we also did a large balloon wall that went behind her cake. And this cake, guys, it had like this teapot on it and it spun. Her cake moved. So I know it was like a baker from like some type of like baking channel that actually made it. That's one competitions and that cake was incredible but it was such like a cool experience because when we arrived there were police officers there that were her security she had valet she had valet parking she had about a good 30 staff members just there to service the party like I'm like this is amazing that somebody's able to live like this but it was a really fun experience I'm also going to tell you about the second event that I did for her. So definitely stay tuned for that.
Okay, let me tell you guys about the second event that we did for her. So this was on her second estate in the country. Beautiful. We arrived to the house. On the left and right side of her entrance were scarecrows sitting on hay with welcome signs. You drive down her driveway, which takes probably three minutes. On the left side, you see a smaller house where her staff stays. On the right side, you see cattle, horses just roaming around. And then eventually you arrive to this large barn that's right before her big house. This barn is beautiful gray stone, just a huge, beautiful barn. And this is where the party's taking place. We did a large arch to go over the entrance of the barn. It was blue and white and incorporated beer balloons. And then we had 12 large balloon bouquets. In these balloon bouquets, we had scarecrow balloons, leaf balloons, different types of pumpkin balloons, blue and white latex balloons, and we had it sprinkled around the tent area. So you guys know I'm not a fan of balloon bouquets outdoors because they always get tangled, and that's exactly what these ones did. I informed the client, but she still wanted to go with them. And you know, what the client wants, the client gets. There was a crazy wind tunnel, and those things just, they flapped everywhere. But for this third event that we are about to do, which is going to be a Jurassic Park birthday she let me convince her to do something a little different in that area so i'm going to take you guys along for that jurassic park event you're going to prep with me you're going to go to the install day so i'm so excited to show you guys those details but let's get back to this current proposal i figured i'd tell you guys some fun stories while you see me work <music>
so what I'm going to do now is I save it as a PDF and then I attach it to my invoice. So I send an estimate over initially, including this proposal attachment and the client will be able to see pricing as well as these visuals. And then once the client is ready to move forward, I'll change the estimate to an invoice and then the client can make the payment directly to the invoice and receive a receipt. I'll show you guys that step in another video. So definitely make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you guys as always. Please comment. Please let me know if you have any questions. And I am happy to answer them. Until next time, a good people.